All righty, here we go. Ready? Hey, happy Tuesday, August the 8th. Uh, we're still in Romans chapter 8, verses 12 to 14. It says, So then, brothers and sisters, we are not obligated to the flesh to live according to the flesh. Because if you live according to the flesh, you're going to die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you'll live. For all those led by God's Spirit are God's sons. Yesterday ended with the nature of our new obligation. Uh, this word obligation is interesting, this, this owing, this debt. You see, God bought and paid for us, so now we belong to Him. You see, we were once obligated to the flesh, but now we are no longer because God bought and paid for us. See, the, the tragedy of sin is that it messed up God's creation. Sin separated us. Now, it separated us in a whole lot of ways, but sin still separates us from God, from others, from, from our, our, our own um, uh, pursuit and desire for godly things. See, the warning in this text is, is if we live for the flesh, we die. Uh, what Paul is referring to here is a spiritual death. It's an eternal separation from God. It's a, it's a place of punishment. Many times you see in Scripture, the, 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 in the Old Testament, the Sheol or the Hades or hell. See, without Jesus, we are spiritually dead. And see, self-worship seeks to please self. Self-worship seeks to satisfy itself. And, and, and in Christ, what we are, we are surrendered. We surrender to Jesus, which means we live His will and His plan. And we're encouraged throughout the New Testament to live by the Spirit, according to the Spirit. You see, walk by faith. And Romans 8, 12 to 14 simply uh, shares with us what God has done, what God has accomplished. It says, So then, brothers and sisters, we are not obligated to the flesh to live according to the flesh. Because if you live according to the flesh, you are going to die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all those led by God's Spirit are God's sons. See you tomorrow.